crash Aaron. Okay, so we're back into the next gen gallery in the back end, and in this video I'm going to go through some of the optimization processes and some of the other things you might be interested in. So first of all, what we already did here was resize the image and put a watermark on it. Now the watermark itself we can control. That is under options, and uh, you might want to get my help with that or you might want to play around with it yourself. All you have to do is change the, the text here, find a color, white is good, that's what all the Fs are. Uh, the size here is maybe all you would um, adjust. The opaque, opacity or whatever, uh, see-throughness. Okay, so let's just go back to the gallery. Back into here. Okay, so we resize these guys and we put the watermark on it. Now, say you didn't like it and you look at it and you go, okay, I don't like that watermark. Instead of having to delete it and re-upload it, all you have to do is click on recover and it will pop up a little bit and say, uh, you want to recover that? And you say yes. And it says, please clear your browser cache. You may have to do that. So when you reload this, see now it's actually um, it may not show the new vi uh, new version you may have to do a shift reload on the page but mine reloaded right away so now it's back to the old one and it's back to being the full size and not having a watermark so it went back to the original that you uploaded it to it doesn't save in the in between phases so you lo lose both things and you should keep that in mind so when we talk about the alt and title text the real quick thing to do here is just go along with what was already defined. Just take out the um, the dashes of spaces and use that. Now the description here, you can actually be quite descriptive despite the size of this box. And this will give some uh, give Google contextual information about this picture. So this is where in here you could actually be talking about the person that's in the picture, what they're doing, what's surrounding them. Uh, you know, you can talk about the green forest, the woman sitting in, with the pine trees in the background with buckets of blueberries that she picked. Uh, she was picking blueberries for the afternoon. You know, a bunch of keyword phrases um, and things like that that you could actually work into this, including her name, because then if people do a search for her, they'll actually come to your site and find, hey, you know, she, she went there and that's part of your social proof. Now, the tags here largely have to do with uh, the, the posts you already have on your website. This is how the pictures get tied in to your posts and um, they'll show up as a bar just at the bottom of your posts, just a bar of seven or so graphics uh, that people can click through and look at them and the search engines will also pick them up and it's really good for the, for the keywords and for uh, adding new content to your blog without having to actually write new blogs. The pictures themselves are like mini blogs, each one of them. So if you can spend just a little bit of time every week putting 5, 10, 15 pictures up, even ones that you already have up on your main site, putting them up this way and optimizing them, that's like putting little blog posts out according to the search engines, which is really good for uh, keeping content fresh and keeping new people coming in regularly to find your services. So now generally you won't have to click on exclude, but if you have a picture that you don't want to show up on the front end for some reason, you could exclude it. I generally don't do that. So let's see. Uh, the next video I want to cover talks about the front end of the site, how things show up on the front end, and what modifications that we can put into place, how it shows up by default, and what modifications we can put into place. But what I'm going to do, first of all, is fill out this information here and not do it on the video. So then when I come back, I'll be able to show you what it looks like once you've got a, a well-optimized, well-thought-out and typed-out picture description which would be just like a little blog post. So stay tuned for episode number three. Take care.